Americans set sights on first woman president, liberals furious to find out who they want. Although liberals will tell you that the American people weren't ready for a female president after Hillary Clinton's loss, they're wrong. The left was just trying to force the wrong woman down our throats. In fact, Americans are proving just that after setting their sights on a brilliant woman, and liberals are downright furious after hearing who we the people want in the Oval Office next. Hillary Clinton is an absolute train wreck. Even though she's blamed everyone and their brother for her loss, there's only one place responsibility for her failed campaign lies, and it's at her own two feet. Quite simply, her election loss was her own fault, and no one needed a book to understand what happened. Not only was she lazy, resting every weekend and not focusing on swing states during her campaign, but she listened to the mainstream media when they told her that President Donald Trump didn't have a chance. However, the real problem came when her criminal actions were exposed. Not only was she found to be using her charity foundation as a money laundering operation, but she also broke the law several times including using her personal server to handle classified information before deleting the evidence. We also have Benghazi, where her incompetence got four Americans killed. No matter who Hillary and other liberals want to blame, their excuses are just plain wrong. She just wasn't the right candidate, and that's beyond clear when you see patriots getting behind another woman. As it turns out, the American people are beginning to express genuine interest in electing the first female president to the White House and liberals are downright furious. In fact, the idea came to fruition during a Fox News interview with retired Lt. Col. Ralph Peters, where he said that UN Ambassador Nikki Haley may end up as our first female president. It Review reports that he even seemed to come up with a campaign slogan for the woman while discussing the possibility by saying, she's sticking up for truth, justice, and the American way. Even better yet, Lt. Col. Peters isn't alone. Come to find out, several Americans feel the same way and say that Nikki Haley would make a perfect candidate for 2024, after Trump's second term, of course. As one would imagine, liberals are downright furious, mainly because Nikki Haley supports the America First agenda. When it comes to the left, everything is decided along party lines. They don't like it even though it could do good things for this country and the people who live here simply because Haley stands on the wrong side of the political aisle. Although the left was able to get the first black president into office, it only did America harm. After learning it the hard way, we now know what voting for a person strictly based on a physical trait does, and it's not good. We'll have our first woman president when we have the right candidate. And, as much as the left might not like it, we may have found her. After the Barack Obama mistake, we'll give the position to someone who actually deserves it. Nikki Haley seems like a perfect choice. Let's just hope the left agrees. If they don't, well, that makes them sexist by their logic. Share the story and leave a comment by clicking one of the buttons below.